Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Uh, another day, another termite inspection, and we found a more actives. So I wanted to talk about a couple of things that we hear that are incorrect from a lot of people. Uh, you know, a lot of people only associate termite activity with the springtime whenever they, uh, they see the swarmers or they see termites swarming. And that's when they're really active and they're looking to form new colonies, find new mates, establish uh, new queens, things like that. And that's when they're, they're most visible, but, but termites can be a problem year round. And just like at this house, here we are in uh, you know the middle of July, and, and and these termites are active, and they're feeding on this house. We've got uh, five different termite tubes coming up in, and uh, it needs to be addressed. So another problem that we tend to hear is uh, just like in this house right here. This house is probably about six years old, and it's got active termites. So a lot of people think that if they've got a new house, it's something that they don't have to worry about, and that's not the case at all. If you got termites that are living underground, it's just a matter of time before they're going to come up into the house. So just because your house is new doesn't mean that you uh, don't need to worry about it or don't need to do anything about it. Another thing that we hear or that we need to address is, is that people feel like, uh, you know, like this house has got active termite tubes. Their neighbor's house, you know, I haven't walked over there and look. I don't want to do that without talking to the people, but just because they've got it doesn't mean that they can't get them either. Uh, termites live in the ground, you know, they're not prejudiced, they're gonna go wherever the food source is. So just because this house has them doesn't mean that this house won't get them either. So remember that getting, uh, whenever you have actives, you know, getting them treated uh, very fast is, is very important. But also remember that uh, just, you know, if this house has them and this house doesn't, it doesn't mean that this house won't get them. Uh, this house should really consider getting a, uh, a treatment just as more of an insurance policy. So uh, you know, getting, getting the house treated is far cheaper than having to pay for the possible damages. So anyway, if you got any questions, need any suggestions, feel free to let us know. Look forward to hearing from you. Y'all have a good day.